Welcome or welcome back to my Lobotomy Corporation Bedtime Story Reading. This is Hitori and I will be helping you fall asleep with some ambient audio and awesome OST from our favorite game as I learn more about Lobotomy Corporation's abnormalities. In the last video, we read about the crumbling armor. This time, it will be about the Grave of Cherry Blossoms. If you're new here, this is now the 8th video for Love Court Reading. You can view the entire playlist tag on the card on the upper right of this video. Let's begin. Grave of the Cherry Blossoms 0-04-100 Is an abnormality with the appearance of a dark brown blood colored tree having a hole between the trunk and its roots. With a pair of hands visible in its interior, the tree starts without any leaves or fruits on its branches, which only has buds at the start. But it can bloom cherry blossoms in great amounts when interacting with it. Ability Grave of Cherry Blossom's ability would trigger when its clipboss counter reaches zero. Its clipboss counter can fluctuate in the following ways. Decrease 1 when getting a good work result. Decrease by 1 when agent panics in its containment unit. At different stages, depending on its clipboss counter, its physical appearance changes. 3 clip both counter, the tree almost doesn't possess any leaves or fruits, but buds on its branches. 2 clip both counter, the tree starts to bloom cherry blossoms covering part of its branches. 1 clip both counter, more cherry blossoms bloom and almost cover all the branches. Clip both counter drops to 0. The tree is covered completely in cherry blossoms without any branch visible in the state. When the clipboard counter is depleted, no more works can be performed until the clipboard counter is not at zero. In a group of around five employees, agents and or clerks will be randomly possessed under a state called captive, being lured to grave of cherry blossoms containment unit. If an employee reaches the containment room, the tree will capture the employee with a long arm-like appendage coming out from the hole between its trunk and roots, taking the employee and killing them. After this, all other captive employees will be released from the possession and receive 15 to 18 white damage. However, the captive employee can be released prematurely by clicking on them several times, similar to Red Shoes Possession or Void Dream Sleep ability. No penalties will be applied. At the end of either way, the clipboard counter will turn back to its maximum 3, but only when an employee is killed by the tree, it will remain in its current form. Otherwise, it will return to its first form and repeat the process. When another employee works with it when fully bloomed, at the end of the task, the tree's flowers will slowly fall down and in a bright burst of pink light, all the employees in the facility will have their HP and SP fully healed. Afterwards, it returns to its first form. Story A tree that stands in the middle of the containment unit it never withers even if it's not given any form of nutrition. Some employees take time to rest near the tree. Employees sometimes enter its containment unit for leisure. Pansy Hey savior, did you see that new abnormality? I think you got put in charge of it. Savior Yeah, I saw it alright. Just some tree with buds along its branches. I don't think they'll be able to blossom without sunlight. 
Hansi. Did you start making observations and writing reports yet? Savior. Nah, I think I'll get it soon enough though. Hansi. Alright, take care. Pansy. Hey yeah, long time no see. How's it going lately? Savior. Yo, get this. You know that abnormality we talked about before? I don't think it's hostile. And guess what? It started wooing. It was so surreal looking at them. It felt like spring had come for the first time in this place. Pansy, is that okay? Usually, any sort of change is a bad omen for something catastrophic here. Savior, don't worry, it's just some harmless little flowers. Thanks for worrying about me though. Pansy, bonjour again. How's work been going for you? Savior Golly, the flowers just keep blooming I think it'll fill up the whole unit at this rate You should see it for yourself It's really beautiful I don't think I'd ever get sick of looking at it Pansy I love to man But I can't I've been so busy lately Savior Really? Damn, what a shame It's absolutely magnificent, I'm telling you Pansy Hmm, you doing alright by the way? You've been making a lot of mistakes these days Seems like we've been spacing out a ton too Savior Don't worry, it's nothing I gotta head back now Oh, I've been making a sketch of the tree, actually. I'll let you be the first person to see it when I'm done. Audio recording of counseling session. Yeah, I've been better recently. I've got better at managing abnormalities too. Going to Grave of Cherry Blossom's chamber makes me feel really amazing, like you said. Notice of advice We've reached reports about an alarming increase in the number of employees who want to view the grave of Cherry Blossom's containment. This fervent rush of requests is likely due to the absence of natural scenery in our facility. However, I don't think there is any need to make a rule against it. We found that our staff's mental contamination indices decrease when looking at grave of cherry blossoms. The reason behind this is unimportant. It could be flora giving out a good aura for all anyone cares. 
The only thing that's certain is the grave of cherry blossoms captivates our employees and they don't know what lies beneath its roots. Did you realize that the cherry blossoms are strikingly crimson and its unmatched beauty is caused by its color? The more blood it has, the more beautiful it is. Our employees who are oblivious to it are drawn to it again and again. Just keep everything hush-hush for now. It's how things work in this place. Oh man. I remember this abnormality. This was the last one before I resetted my first run. It, it was just too much. You know, what with the crumbling armor beheading everybody. And then this one, also killing people as well. I clearly did not know how to manage this abnormality, but it's really not that good of a abnormality to train your staff into, considering you just get common work quality and in instinct, insight, and attachment work. And repression is on the low end as well. Plus, your employee will always be dragged into the tree if you really want to make it blossom. Anyway, I, I don't think I lasted like the second day for this tree. <laughs> I think I was just horrified that my people were being eaten by its trunk, root, whatever that is that i'm just gonna say it looks very saucy if you look at that right now on the screen look at that hole i was just like bro not in my family friendly channel this is not happening let's restart the game <laughs> yeah so i restarted the game and on the next video You'll learn my first abnormality on my first restart. The only good thing that I got was possibly just the mirror of adjustment. Everything else was just how the bird keeps coming out, right? And then sometimes Beauty and the Beast, I mean, I don't, I didn't really have any problems with Beauty and the Beast. I don't think I saw somebody getting killed by Beauty and the Beast, but there's a strong possibility that somebody got killed in there and I just did not take a look. <laughs> Basically, because usually I'm just looking out other stuff, other abnormalities. Considering that this game has a lot of ab abnormalities, not just the ones that I got. So I was just curious what else I would be able to see if I continued playing the game. Also, the story for Lobotomy Corporation is a little interesting. Around this point in my game, I was curious what Sephiroth are, why Angela is a weirdo. So, yeah, I guess I'm just drawn into weird things, I guess. So, if you have tips or interesting details about this abnormality, the grave of cherry blossoms, please comment about it down below. Uh, if you like, you can also catch my stream in Twitch and here on YouTube so that you can assist me if you're a veteran in the game. If you want more Project Moon content from me, please don't hesitate to like the video. Uh, you can also support me further in my Patreon. So, also don't forget to subscribe. I'd like to thank my current Patreon supporters that are showing in the screen as well as my Twitch subscribers. I want to let you know that I appreciate everything you do for me, truly. This thanks is also extended to you who's currently watching. Thank you so much for your support. Anyway, 
until next time, I hope you rest easy.